Welcome back, everybody. We have been looking around at the existing uh, stuff that we get when we auto install one of these B theme templates. And so now it's time to actually start playing around and writing some code and doing some design. Now, I could have us come in here and begin editing this stuff, but I feel like that could be a little bit overwhelming. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to pages and we're going to hit add new. And we are going to say, um, we're going to call this classwork. And I would like you to make this page like I'm doing. And you're going to publish it. And we have this page. So I'm going to just close these out. And we're going to open in a new tab this page. And you'll see that when we do nothing, we automatically have this footer and this header. We can kind of deal with some of this stuff. But we get the title of the page up here. That may not be what we want, but we're going to start with the body of the page and then worry about some of this other stuff later. So when I come to the page itself, I have this ability to say, uh, this is the main content. Now, depending on what you're doing, if you don't want to do anything fancy, you may want to just write your content in there. Uh, and if I refresh this page, you'll see I have some content there. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but the power of B-Theme goes beyond this. Now, one of the reasons why you may want to use this is you have the nice handy uh, thing where you can come in here and you can make things bold and all that kind of stuff. And this is a lot just like using Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You can do links and all that kind of stuff really easily. Um, so it, this stuff is all real basic. Now, one thing to remember is that when you're making this stuff, I've made a little bit of content. I still need to come over here and tell it to update, to save the work. And once I do, it's live immediately. And you'll see that I can come in here and I do have that. That is a link. It's not underlined, but you can see my cursor changes there. And I can go to Google uh, all that. So all that works. But the point of B theme is that you have stuff that's a lot more flexible than that. So the first thing we're going to do, and you don't have to do this, but we're going to go down here and we're going to say hide the content. And so now that we've done that, we can hit update. And now I will say there's, you don't have to hide the content. I just did it to show you, you could, but now we have this part down here. And this is Muffin Builder, and this is where I do the bulk of my work. So let me show you something. We have this section. We're going to add a section, and then we're going to add a wrap. And basically, this is where we're going to put the bulk of our, what they call, items. So when you click Add Item, you have this entire thing of little widgety type things that you can use. And they can be anything from just a plain code editor to some kind of fancy widget. And so we're going to, let's do this. Let's put a counter here because I think this will show us an idea of what we can do. So we're going to edit this with a little pencil and we're not going to give it any other information. We're just going to leave it all plain. I guess we can, we'll put a symbol there. And then we're going to give it a number. And I'm sure somewhere it's going to ask for a number here. Uh, I don't use, okay, number right there. So one, fantastic. So we're going to update the page and you're going to see that when you refresh the page, you have this thing and it counts from zero to one. Uh, great. So that is a counter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to resize that and I'm going to bring that down. It can go down to a sixth of a page. So we're going to copy this and copy it again and copy it again and copy it again and copy it again to where there's going to be six of them across the page. And so we'll do an apple and we'll do two and save it. Now note that saving it does not fully save it to where it's live. It just saves it so you can exit that box. And then we'll come in here and we'll pick this duck and we'll do three. And then we'll pick, go in here and we'll pick this one and we'll pick that pig and do four. 
and we'll come here to this one and we'll pick the light bulb and do five and then we're going to do a lock and we'll do six fantastic so now we will save the page we'll update and you'll see when we load the page that now we have all these different ones and they add at weird speeds but we have six little units across the page now we can adjust the page width right now right now we're set to, to leave this side blank and that's kind of by default um, but we're able to have six columns of stuff along the page which makes it really nice for aligning like when you look at something like this you can see that they have it set up where there's four columns and then i'll bet if we drag this to a different size they'll okay like at that size they're five and then you come down and then here there's three and it's what they call responsive design that makes it look good on different uh viewers and different devices and things like that so what's neat about this is that additionally if six columns of flexibility isn't enough for us we can let's say copy this entire thing and then we can bring this down to half the page and we can bring this down to half the page always do one extra click for good measure and then update and now we have 12 columns of flexibility and so you can basically do infinite amounts of grid work to make things uh, as small and as infinitely positionable as you would like and it will maintain the grid so i just i'm sure you saw what i just did there i've got them a quarter of the page half the page a quarter of the page and now we refresh and these are all crammed together these are spaced out these are crammed together and then i'm guessing if i were to come back here and we're going to x out that one we're going to x out this one and now we're going to increase this back to a full page and update then as we refresh this these may drop down as this page gets smaller yep so once it got below a certain point they drop down and so there's a lot of things in here that i'm not going to sit here and walk you through every one of these little widgets uh, but what you can do is for some homework what i'd like you to do is to spend maybe even up to an hour and some of them are not going to make sense some of them are not going to do what you think they should do like a fancy divider is not really that fancy i mean you can do a curve or a stamp or you know i don't know you can do some goofy things like that um but one of the things the divider does is make sure that this stays above whatever is below it uh, we can add in a countdown or you can add in an faq or some pictures or whatever but what i would like you to do is to play around with the actual widgets that are included in this thing and start playing through the options and all right so we're going to count down to let's say uh one one twenty twenty and then you know play around with your time zones show it save it update it and just get a feel for some of the things that the that that those little widgets do now i'm not going to we're going to use a bunch of them and you're going to have the opportunity to play with a lot of them in the course but i think you could have some fun just seeing what's available to you and then we will work those things in as we develop the blog so i hope you're learning a lot i hope you're beginning to get a feel for why i like this thing so much and i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching have a great day